Welcome to the Slime Road to Baja. I'm Chris Forsberg. And I'm Dylan Hughes. And we're gonna transform this recreational Polaris UTV into a race-ready rig. Welcome to the Slime Road to Baja. This is our slime two-in-one tip of the week. This stuff is actually non-toxic, non-flammable, and if you get it anywhere on yourself, uh, it's pretty easy to wash off just with water, simply. There's nothing bad in it, nothing that's gonna hurt you, so uh, if, you, if you spill a little bit, that's okay. Getting the bobsled ready, are you? Oh yeah, good. Soak her down so she slides real good. Oh my god, look at that, man. Look at that. Two cylinders of raw fury. Um, plan for today is chassis prep. So there's a few things that Justin gave us to strengthen the frame. Um, one is a uh, engine mount upgrade uh, bar and brackets. And then there's also these cool little weld tabs for the, I believe these were for the sway bar, right? I think so, uh, yeah. Yep, the yeah. stock sway bar mounting brackets. So these guys, so they go, Behind this plastic somewhere, so we gotta pull this plastic off. That's why we kind of are starting with this little engine cover. And pull these pieces off, weld those on, and then we also have a weld on rear bumper that actually is, um, pretty sure it's required by the rules too. Um, so we'll pull the exhaust off, weld that new rear bumper structure on, and then we can hit it with some steel it, and then we can start bolting some fresh suspension bits on. Shall we? Deal. Check it out real too bad. <laughs> yeah. What's happening? Oh, that, that other side was really stuck. The one side was fine. Wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. Bobsled. Yeah. Whoa. But yeah, no, we got to um, pull the whole stock tank out, which is here. Uh, how about I'll pay you five whole dollars to lick the bottom of this battery tray. Five. That's California mud right there, man. It's as clean as it gets. Yeah. That's like it's to hold it on. It started with getting to the sway bar brackets so we can get that um, ground on and welded on. And we're like, oh, we gotta pull the fuel cell out. So, <laughs> so we do have a new fuel cell coming and it's being built right now. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's cool. Gives it a little more grasp. So Dylan's gonna work on those. I'm gonna start undoing the engine mount as there is a new engine mount kit that is much more solid. Maybe I'll work on the rear bumper because the engine mount's Right there, right there. Right there. <laughs> so, yeah. we're gonna be getting ground right in the face. Pressure wash this thing, didn't make a bit of a difference. <laughs> Taking the exhaust off, <clears throat> um, so we can get access for the rear bumper setup that's gonna go on it. We have to clean the frame up and uh, weld little studs that come off of it and then it will pin on so that you can get to the bumper and the uh, muffler and everything else. My task right now is I'm going to be welding these, which is a pretty sweet little laser cutout piece. This is gonna be a support for the sway bar, 
because apparently once you start running these things pretty hard through the desert, that constant shock of the sway bar being hit as you're going through the whips on the rough terrain, it will actually break this tab off. So this is basically just a support piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mock it up there, mark where I need to clean all the paint off of it, grind that paint off of it so I can get some nice clean MIG welds on there. We'll drag that welder over here and burn this thing out. I right, started so to dig in. This should be the heavy duty engine mount kit. The factory one, as Justin says, is inadequate. So this one, pretty serious. Instructions! 2017 Polaris Razor XP Turbo Radius Rod Cage replaces stock rear radius rod plate that has an issue with the bolts ripping out of it. <laughs> Sounds terrible! So these are the six billet pieces that go with that cross tube. And these are the mounts that go to this piece. And these guys, like that, the full kit. So these are our new billet heavy duty motor mounts. Engine, you know, kind of bounces around a lot and these things are just prone to failure, um, especially after a couple hundred miles of off-road. So these are the uh, race ready proven setup. Starting with the rear one, the little training mount if you will. Then we'll get to that front tube once he's done with the sway bar. Making progress. Progress feels good. Welding project like this, it's always good to have a clean tip on your welder. Make sure you got uh, good gas. In this case, I'm using a 7525 Argon CO2 mix, uh, or CO2 Argon mix, I should say. Make sure your welder's not too hot. This material isn't all that thick that comes factory on these things, so kind of manage your heat. Make sure you're not putting too much heat in one spot, and then just kind of pay attention to what you're doing. Give it the beans. There she is. Boy, this is awkward. <laughs> oh. So what we got, we got this custom little strap here. We're gonna, that's essentially gonna hold the engine up because we're gonna replace this entire engine mount uh, and the two bits on the end. So we gotta have something to hold the engine up. Chris is down there busting these bolts loose and then I'm gonna grab another 15 and put it on this guy over here. We're just gonna tag team this since I got the sway bar mount done. Whoa, there we go. All right, got plenty on that one. I'm gonna share a little with the other side. Yeah! Stay strong, small <laughs> strap. Oh my God, this thing is so catchy. Yeah! One more. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, I got it. I don't know if the strap's got it. I got it. All right, bust that strap loose. Yeah. You good? It's in. Just gotta tighten her up now. Yeah, but yeah we gotta tighten everything. But we to get it like resting on its own weight before we tightened it. I prepped it, uh, question mark, and uh, now I'm gonna paint it. I taped everything off, and uh, here we are. As you can see. Quick little dusting to begin with. Get that first little layer on there, yeah. and that's, that's the prep. Dude, it's freaking perfect. Uh, we're, we're, we got coverage, boys. We got coverage. Perfection. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, big stuff's happening over here, dog. Yeah.
Uh, so what we're gonna do, this is a weld-on style bumper, not a bolt-on one like that was on there before. So it has these little tabs here that are pre-coped and pre-drilled with these little holes in them. So these are gonna end up going right around there. And then we're gonna have the flat ones go around down here. So we're just cleaning the paint off of the chassis. And then we're gonna burn these babies on. And this is gonna be a bolt-on slash weld-on style bumper. But it's pretty sweet. It's gonna be wicked strong too. So. News. I'm feeling pretty good about today. We got quite a bit done actually. I got to do some welding, that was always fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had to take uh, half the car apart to get down to the piece we had to weld, but those are the things that we wanted to do today was get it uh, taken apart, ground down, the braces on there, weld it up, paint it up, now we can start bolting things down. Bolting things down, I know. Playing with that plastic was definitely a first for me. There was like 75 <laughs> pieces we took out of there and they just kept going. I was like, please stop. I would yeah. rather just take the fuel cell out only, but <laughs> that's not how that works, but it yeah. wasn't that bad. Yeah, so we got the tank out, we're waiting for our new cell to show up, so we're gonna leave everything out for now, but uh, we can now move on to the suspension and get this thing back into a roller. Ooh, yes. You got it way worse than, oh, maybe not. No, we got it pretty even. <laughs> that was heavy. That was heavy, dude. Heavy, dude. It hit my hat and like just, <laughs> it blew the gla the goggles down. The first block I'm really was really glad like, on the goggles. Yeah, no doubt. Over oh, your face. Oh my god. You would've got smoked. Oh, for sure.